There we go. Hey, everybody. That's why I wear the headphones so I can tell what the hell I'm doing. I didn't have any audio there for a minute. I wouldn't have known if I didn't have the headphones on. I'm trying to rectify that. Still monking with everything. So we got one person in the chat. If you'd be so kind to say, hey, that would be great. My name's Jim. What Dugan thinks? We're going to look at knives today and some other situations around the garage. See what an old man's doing and see if I can't uh, get through this thing without screwing myself up, cutting myself, or doing something stupid. That's a challenge in itself. Made a fresh cup of coffee. I've been tied up with uh, a slow day because of my Parkinson's has really been kicking my ass. And I got matted up and got ready. Oh, by the way, you see the bricks in the blue? Guess I need to get a different color uh, coffee cup. <laughs> I find it quite funny, actually. Well, whoever's in here, I hope you're having a great day. I hope the world's treating you halfway decent. We got some things to look at. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Let's see if we can get you a little bit better view of it. Uh, let's see. How about that? That's a little bit better. We got some knives on the table. This is the newest one that I just picked up the other day. Actually, I've, I've had it on order for quite some time. And I guess it had to come from China, from what I understand. It was a Kaiser. My little guys are out here with me and hanging out. And like I said, I'm a, I may not have said, but I'm a little early. Let's see if we can get this a little bit better angle. That's a little bit better. So what's y'all's big interest today? What do y'all want to see and talk about? I guess I'll ask that question when I get a few more folks in here. Maybe that's just me in the live stream and I don't realize it. I need to bring up my YouTube channel so I can see what's going on, on that end. Let's see here. YouTube. See if I'm broadcasting, which I should be. Yeah, it says that I'm live. That's a good thing, I guess. I hear the delay. It's running back about... One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five, one thousand six, one thousand about seven seconds. I'm gonna take that off. We're broadcasting and I have audio, so that's a good thing. Gons, what's up, buddy? I saw you were a moderator on another live earlier today. I didn't realize you did that. Do you guys get compensated anyway? I mean, I know that if I had moderators, I'd probably add them to the Christmas list, at least a Christmas card list, right? I see that we got Marco in here. Hey, man, I appreciate you stopping in. Todd, Mr. Carr is here. He's a moderator around, too. Guys, I really appreciate you popping in. I had one person they didn't say anything for a while, and I was getting a little nervous. I've had a pretty rough morning of it. My Parkinson's has been kicking my ass like you can't believe today. I don't know if you guys are familiar with some of the symptoms. The shakes are not everything. It's a lot more involved. But we kind of got by it. Blade Walker, good afternoon, sir. I appreciate you stopping by. We got a bunch of the regulars. Check out the coffee cup, guys. Let me uh, bring this up full here. I think this is pretty funny. got a blue coffee cup so that means everything's blue see what i mean crazy funny is what it is i think it's hilarious so what have y'all been up to kevin smith and knives is he in there he is yeah hey kevin i didn't see you there for a minute 
I want to collaborate with you. I can't say the word, man. I want to see if we can get a live stream together if you'd be interested in doing something like that. I don't know if you guys jumped in on Casey's live stream earlier today. He's riding around, and God bless him. I think every 15 minutes, that poor man's got a live stream going, and he's really starting to, I'm not going to say aggravate, but he's getting noticed. He was going to do it again today about the time I was coming on, and I tried to convey to him that it just kills me. I mean, in nothing flat, he had 75 people in there when I got there, and then it went on down to about 25. But and he's doing that a couple times a day, and I know G G Ball said a couple things about it, and some other folks have kind of mentioned it. Um, I think he's kind of doing the community a little bit wrong or a disservice by doing that. He's pulling from some of us smaller guys. I think. just at home today, myself working on some. Uh, side projects. What kind of side projects? Okay. Are you making any money on those side projects? That's what I always try to do is make a little extra money on the side. That's a big part of what I do. Mr. Letterman, are you in here? Yeah, you're in here too. Apparently, I doesn't miss anything. I think that's why he's a good moderator. And God, like I said, I didn't know that you were moderating too. That's pretty interesting. I wish I uh, knew how to do that. If some, I've got both running today. I've got both chats running on the computer, and we're not having much lag that I can see on my end. If you guys could tell me how to do that, if anybody would like to raise their hand and volunteer for me, not that I've had a problem. I've yet to have anybody come in here that's been rude, obnoxious, a pain in the butt. I've not blocked a person since I've started this. So I think uh, it's going pretty good. You went to the range earlier. Cool, man. I was going to go today, but I couldn't get myself going. I just screwed screw up. I do have my camcorder charging up that I can do some portability in the garage today, and I'm going to do some show and tell around the garage just so you guys know. I'm not going to just do knives, although I do want to talk about the topic that I posted, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. Let's see what uh, Todd's up to. Cleaning up the and some other knives. Yeah, I see that that's something that I need to do as well. I've got guns. You can use guns. I'm going to say guns. I guess it's not illegal to say guns when you're live streaming. You just can't hang on to them or hold them, I guess. But uh, things are going good. So all I got to do is hit the three dots next to the person's name and options should pop up to allow them different. Okay, cool. Well, I don't want to impose on anybody. If somebody wanted to be the moderator, just to help me out to figure out what's going on and how to do it. I see several of you guys that are in here do that already for other people. And I don't want to overwhelm my bounds and even asking But if you guys are interested. I would love to have your input on that. Somebody wants to raise their name. Gons told me as well, click moderator. Well, I'm not going to just do it for the sake of doing it without getting your permission first, but I'd love to have at least one or two of you guys do it. I'm going to bring up the uh, desktop cam here, and we're going to look at what I got in this week. These uh these penguins are for the collection part of what we're talking about and what the live stream is supposed to be about. And uh got this Kaiser today, not today, the other day. I've been wanting to make a short on it all weekend and I just can't get myself can't get my shit together. I just that's the bottom line, guys. I mean, I'm I'm cupping this hand today and holding it low and it's just not cooperating. It isn't shaky, but it's just not functioning the way it should. Not the way God intended it to. So we're going to deal with it. Cool, Gons. I'd love to have you aboard, man. Let me see if I can do that. Three dots. And remove channel activity. Pin message. 
add user as moderator. Did that do it, sir? Or do I do some manage moderator stand? Do I do standard or managing moderators? I don't know which one to do here. I'm going to put managing moderators because I think I trust you. Let's see what that does. Nons, did I promote you, buddy, or did I put you in a bale of hay there? Hey, man, what you doing today? I'm glad to see you. Let everybody stop and hang out for a while. We're going to have a big show around the garage today if I can get the camera to work. The only thing I didn't get hooked up was I was going to find my microphones to hook up my cordless mic. So you guys may not have as good a volume for me when I do the walkabout. The way the StreamYard works, the primary audio is the only thing that transmits. It won't pick up each and every camera. Who did uh Gonz has got the wrench? Ooh, I got a moderator. <laughs> Betty, what's up? How are you doing? Damn. Yep. Gonz is the big dog now. He's got all the rights. He can go ahead and bump me off even and get rid of my fat ass. Anyway, this is the uh what is this one called? Kaiser. Abandoned? I can't even remember. I got the box here somewhere. Let me grab the box. Beyond. Oh, grab the box. It's the Beyond. And I'm going to tell you guys, out of the box, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. This is the best knife that I bought to the money. This thing's in about a $170 range. And I am just in love with this knife. The simplicity... It's just incredible. And it just drops. I mean, no problem whatsoever. I mean, you got to just remember to stay off the frame is what's giving me the problem. But I'm able to pick it. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it, it is probably for the money. I, I think this is the best knife in my collection for the money. I really truly believe that. Uh, so I think before a bunch of you guys got in here, I was talking about Kevin and his um, live streams interrupting everybody. I love the guy. I wish him all the best luck in the world, but I kind of think he's just disservicing the community a little bit. He got some, he he's he's a got a pretty good draw. I mean, I saw seventy five people in there pretty much on the on shoot this morning. And he was talking about going about now again. Not that I can pull from him, but he can damn sure pull from me. <laughs> you know, I heard Don's talking on his stream yesterday. I did not realize he's only been doing this a year. I'm six years in. Now, granted, I've not put any work into this until the last year and a half, maybe two years, if you look at my videos. I'm approaching 200 videos. I'm going to have to step my game up, but that's another story. Uh, let's see. thought I would follow him and wasn't. Uh, Kevin, are you interested in doing something together? Collab on something? That would be great. Let's see. The standard moderator is, well, Gaza's got the power, man. Todd, I gave it to him. Let him run. It, and then you guys can decide if you want uh, if you guys want to do more that'd be great again i've not had any problem um surprise people follow you guys you know i try to make a point to when i get a notification and it doesn't give me the notification every single time somebody follows me or i get youtube's weird and that my phone doesn't ring you guys know the fix for that. I get them, they, they come up with no volume. And they're on here. And you can see Metal Concepts an hour ago did something. Or I'll do it this way, it's better. But it doesn't ever give me an alert with volume or the bell. And I've turned it on, it's on, but it's not giving it to me. 
you all know a workaround on that? Because if you do, I would love to know what it is. Kevin, did you give me an answer? If you'd be willing. And there's that North Florida knife guy. I've been reaching out to him because him and I are in the same city. Uh, he lives out in a country area outside of the county that I live in. But basically, he wants any city services. He's coming into the same city I am to get anything he wants. Uh, I've got penguins down here. And that's where I want to talk about collecting. Uh, there's only 80 all in here, but that's fine. What motivates you to collect or are you a collector at all? What is the first thing that you look for in a knife guy? Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to set up my game as well. I'm going to do do some long videos okay yeah i think i remember you telling me that you mostly do uh, shorts or something like that and what was the link you said? i don't know what that is i'm almost afraid to click on it because i don't want to blow myself up over here so they're being oh the schedule yeah yeah, that schedule's pretty brutal. It's full, and I need to let him know I've changed my time, although he may have caught it already. Let's see if we can bring up Sunday. Let's see, you should notify, have notified setting. Volume control, early, silent, vibrate. Yeah, I've got them all on, including sound as well, but it doesn't come through, Todd. It's been like that for years with me, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I assume it's on my end. I guess I'm getting to that age where I can't take care of myself in terms of, you know, how can I put this? Um, the tech savvy is catching up with me, although I've kind of kept up. So I think I've done pretty good for an old fat guy trying to do all this stuff. So anyway, I was going to say, I've got these penguins in here, and you guys didn't really say why you um, uh, collect or if you do collect. I know that some people want to go after each style or each blade steel or whatever. Out of the penguins, this is my favorite. And the reason being is, I can get it to do it. Alexa. Turn off garage lights. Okay. I don't know if you get, I guess you can't really see. This one, if you get it charged up, will glow. I don't know that it's going to. I got my studio lights on. Let's see if you guys can see. I did a video about it, but I like this one's my favorite of the penguins. It's a button lock. This one is thumb studs. It's an honor lock. Alexa, turn garage lights back on. This one is thumb studs and a liner lock. Another thing I'm excited about, and I don't know about you guys, but I saw Kevin introduced his new knife. And uh, that's lefty, if anybody didn't know. Got thumb studs. I'm damn excited about that knife. It's different than he's been producing i think it's more user friendly for a person like myself so i'm excited about it what are you guys have you seen that video come out i caught it the other night as i was going to sleep and i need to go back and try to find it again i'm not sure what you're saying there mr uh, blade walker what are you telling me Not sure what you're saying there. Y'all must have an inside joke I don't know about. This. You know what? Jokes at my expense are okay by me. 
Let me grab the cam corner. You guys interested in seeing the rest of the garage? It's a freaking mess. I mean, it's absolutely horrible right now. But let me see what I got here. I need to make sure that I don't uh, screw myself up and fall down or something. Let's see if we can get this to work. This works like I think it will. I'm going to add a wireless camera to my um, audio so I can pin it to myself during the live streams and be able to walk around the garage and show you guys some things around there. Oh, I see. You're still after the chaos. I tell you what, my friend, you keep that up. I might just put it in the wheel for you. I just might do that. See, and today I'm having trouble with that. Dude, then I found this odd knife laying around the garage. I know it's a, it's not the real deal. It's something of a bench made. The Omega Spring's so good on this. It almost feels like an auto. All right. So let's see. We have that camera. Bring it camera three. What do y'all think? I'm high tech. All right. Don't judge me. Don't judge my bloody mess because it's bad. <laughs> so I'll remember it now that you've said it to me a couple of times. I'm going to start over here in the area that's not the best. Let's see how this looks. This is my uh, knife shelf and catch-all. And those bench maids all there are... Chinese bullshit knockoffs. Those are some of the higher end pieces. Uh, the cleaning solvents and so forth. I'm going to bring you around to see what I'm looking at. This is my desk area. This is something I built. This camera right here is an AI camera that I'm going to be using at the range to do a lot of videoing. And this should help us out pretty good. Clarence in here. Hey, Mr. Davis, how you doing, buddy? This is my switcher. As you see, I can switch to the different camera angles, which is kind of neat. Let me get rid of this here at the bottom. We have to see a little bit better. This is my main camera here, camera one. Why I don't have camera one on that, I don't know. I should say camera one or camera two. Oh, that's the main feed for StreamYard. Here's camera one. It's way up here. That's what I do to do the down shot. So this is one monitor. This allows me to police what I'm doing and looking at different things, different angles and so forth. This is the laptop that I'm using. And this is the secondary screen where I've got StreamYard and everything going. Thank you, Clarence. Or you're doing good. I'm sorry. Thought I was doing good. Maybe I am doing good. This is camera number two here. That's the one that's looking down here. This is my roadcaster unit. Went ahead and made sure that I bought decent uh, equipment. And of course, the microphone, all the light. See, I've got lights everywhere. You got to have them. Otherwise, nothing lights up. I'm not going to get too far from the mic today. That box over there, if you can see that toolbox through there with those jewelry boxes on top of where I store my knives, they're just in front of me. This table I built and put on wheels. So I can move it anywhere I want to move it, even in the yard or whatever. Chips over here. Where are you going, Chippy? Dogs made a mess on the floor in here. They brought his stuff and done some. He's scared of the camera. Come here. 
Can you all maybe see him? I'll catch up in a minute. Yeah, he's kind of playing shy bird. So I got a parrot cage over there. The sonic cleaners are over there. I've just got a mess, guys. I need to clean up. Go. That's my reloading bench over here. Those are all the die sets. The dealing press. I got so much crud on the table right now. I can't do anything except for. I just got to clean up out here. It's not bad. It's just a mess. I've got steel that's come in over there. Workbench where I used to build my drones and do all my other work. I don't know if y'all can see way over there or not. This is my desk at the damn radio station. Toolbox, tripods. Like I said, I'm not real proud of what I got going on right now. It's a pretty big mess and it's not great, to say the least. But hopefully, I'll get it cleaned up here. Sooner than later is the plan. Let's see. Very cool setup overall, Dugan. Very flexible to be any and you need. Yeah, I've got too many hobby. And the Parkinson's, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a real rough day. And part of the problem is it's not just shake. Your mind is getting messed up with it. Too. The two things I miss from Parkinson and being diagnosed and actually having it is the inability to smell because I love to cook. It just drives me absolutely nuts. I might get a black or purple or yellow coffee cup, guys. You see the bricks coming through my coffee cup. I apologize. You know, that's how sometimes the weather guy's got a tie on this blue. Screws up his blue screen. But at any rate, those are the things that I miss the most is playing the guitar. And uh, let's see what everybody's saying. Very cool overall. Thank you, sir. You got it all named. Yeah, but, you know, I'm running out of time, Blade Walker. Life's short for me, I think, and I'm a little concerned about getting everything done. Um, it seems to be also another contributing factor on the Parkinson's. Uh, you just feel like you can't get anything done. And I know we're way off track on the knives, but this is this is not going to be an exclusively knife channel, guys. This is going to be life, pew-pews, knives, guns. I, I'm going to say guns. You can't take me down for saying guns. Um, Basically, what do y'all want to see? My other thing is, if I can do this right, hear me out on this. I'm going to be able to take you guys on live stream uh, adventures around the house outside. I got some things on the side yard where I want to do some asset dipping of blades and doing some cooking and different things. And if I do it right, I can transmit back to this in here. Use a wireless microphone and take you guys with me. I used to do a ton of reloading back in the day. And uh, I, I that new deal in press, I bought when I got semi-retired. And I can run 3,000 rounds. Let's see. My law. Okay. Well, I love the reloading. Let's see. Believe me, Dugan, I know more than you know, buddy. Yeah, I know, Blade Walker. I know some of the things you got going on. And um, adventures with hot guns? You know what? I like it. I, I've been thinking about changing the name of the channel simply because I think it's too uh, vain. I think it puts too much emphasis on me, and that's not what I really wanted the channel to be. I wanted to be the emphasis on sharing things that people may not have the You know, I've always lived vicariously through TV and, and documentaries and shows, and I traveled 
through TV because I did not travel a lot, and that did change. But Gon's Adventures with Dugan, I like it. I like it a lot. What's the rest of your guys' opinions on maybe changing the channel? Gons, I'm going to tell you, I'm not lying to you, buddy. I really think that uh, that that's a good idea. And Kevin, I am going to reach out to you, buddy, for sure. Betty, are you still in here? Or did you come in and say hey and leave? We may not be here. And we're hi, Steph, probably Warner. Although I know some women love this stuff too. <laughs> hey, Betty. Uh, I'm Gons. I may do that. I may change that. Because I think the one, the name that I've got is just a little too vain. I don't have a whole lot of stuff bought. I may just go ahead and send the stickers out that I've got to all the guys. I mean, the address may not be quite the same, but then they got to find me. That might be a way to go. I see you, hon. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Oh, goodness. So let's talk about the collecting on the knives. If you guys decided, what's your reasoning for collecting? Or why do you like knives so much? I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm fascinated by them. Uh, especially the, uh, the newer ones that they're coming out with that really are built so nice. That, you know, like this, this is just clean construction. I mean, absolutely clean, not a true hole in it. And then you flip it over here, you've got the pivot and two more screws, and that's it. And I'm sure with this backspace and the way they built this, if they really wanted to, they could have eliminated that screw and put some extra effort in it. But to keep it at the price point they're at, I think it was probably all they could do to keep it there. I mean, 170 for this knife is dynamic. What's the blade steel on that? Let's see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But um, I love this knife. And, you know, they're always doing the comparisons. And I've been looking for some new butter knives, believe me, guys. And then I learned I was saying this wrong. I was saying stem to stern, but it should be bow to stern, I guess. Stem, I get. I don't know what stem is in nautical. Does anybody know? Well, if you could show pew pews and got plenty. Kevin, I'm so leery to show one. I, th I think I can show them. I just don't think I can touch them. And I'm in the finishing stages of my remodel on my safe. And I've got to run some LED lighting on some of the shelving. And I'm seriously contemplating putting that shelving in there. Does that make sense? Not shelving. Videoing the whole process of me doing that. Um, I just haven't gone ahead and done it. But my problem is I wish they would let us do the pew pews. Um, some other news this week, just so you guys, I think I told you guys last week that Lefty reached out to me on my video about his knife. And that's the first time I even knew that he's ever even acknowledged me in any way, shape, or form. And I belong to the uh, Discord or uh, Tri-State EDC. He didn't have a live stream today, so I was in there asking what was going on with his live stream. And apparently he uh, is traveling. So at any rate, I did banter back with him a little bit, and I sent him a picture or a, a video that went kind of viral for me for short. I had over 65,000 views on the 2A and sent that to him because he had made a comment. I don't know that he said he ran out of knives to review or something, but his dad has enough guns that he could review them all. And 
would take a year to go through them all to do one a day even. Everyone collects for different reasons. Some just like new shiny things, Why on others and the people that, looking over here, people that are very, I jumped up now, it's out of my screen. I can't read it small enough on the one I put up for you guys. Yet another thing was that I bought a carry a knife. That was a piece Uh, the funny thing is, I go everywhere, they pew pew. But I was in law enforcement early on in my life. I have been personally carrying since 1977. I've had a permit or a license for law enforcement affiliation all those years. I've never had an opportunity not to be carrying. What are you showing us here, Gons? What's this one? Go down here just a second. Look at and see what you're showing us. Oh, your page. Cool. Yeah, I've been here before. Look at all that. Good job, man. Dang. You're right up there with a, quite a few subscribers. I've only picked up two in the last two weeks, which is not great. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's do a little practicing if you guys don't mind. Uh, share screen. What screen do we want to share? We want to share this one. And got to be careful here because this is where I'll lose my audio if I'm not. And we'll do this. All right, buddy. There you go. Everybody, check out Gonza's stuff. I like the airplane looking uh, Swiss Army knife. Oh, look at that. You go, man. Freedom. I like this. There you go. Is that yours? Don, I'd love to have you on, man. And all that matters doing is just sending you the link, and you could be on no problem. I'm still investigating getting the uh, telephone uh, set up for the uh, call in, and I'm I'm working on that actively as we speak. Betty just sub to you. I think that's cool, Gons. I think you're doing all right there, buddy. But uh, I'm jumping all over the place. Forgive me, people. I just forgive me. I've, I've jumped all over the place to the point I don't even know where I'm at. Um, I was talking about Kevin and his live stream popping in like crazy. A few people that were talking about that. Not Kevin. Keith. You see, fast knives or knives fast, whatever it is. Uh, we talked about Lefty's new knife that I'm excited about that. Uh, kind of on task on, on the task on the knives, but that's all right with what the whole theme of the show was going to be. Um, adventures with Dugan. You never know what you're going to get, right, Gons? I think that's an appropriate name. Guys, don't be surprised if I don't change that name this week. I'm going to play with the logo, although my bald head is still going to be my bald head, no matter what I change it to, but I, I, I'm thinking seriously that I'm going to make a name change. Um, it's a great name, Gons. Tell everybody you named my station, my channel, whatever they call these. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, you know, I'm not opposed, and I don't understand this. You know, a lot of the creators have 
other creators on. I'd like to have people out of the community on. If they're tech savvy enough, it's just a matter of me sending them a link. And all they got to do is click on that link. And I think everything's taken care of if you're on a phone. I, have, I think StreamYard handles all that. If not, I'm sure I can figure it out with you guys on here. No doubt in my mind that that can be pretty easy. Run Instagram as well. I do Instagram too. Um, and I, I bought some new stuff to start upping my game on my uh, Instagram. I bought a turntable. And I have a light box already. And I'm going to work on doing some more interesting shorts and pictures. That's one of the things I'm really going to work on quite a bit. My long form content, I'm going to try to commit myself to a video or two a week. And then on the shorts, I'm going to try to do five a week. I probably put more time in some of my shorts than I do my long videos. I don't know if that makes sense, but I try to do something that's halfway decent. Who, who jumped? M bomb, is that how you say that? Good afternoon, sir. Glad you stopped by. I really appreciate it. But uh, I think things are going pretty well. I'm mostly going to start naming my um, streams number wise, and I thought about jumping in there and doing some of that stuff that Casey and I thought. You know that just I don't know what the gains for me. I mean, their channels are growing like crazy. I'm a little bit stagnant right now, and it's a little frustrating. But I can't get mad at anybody but myself because I haven't really added a lot. Where you know, Greg over G Ball has been busting his ass. Kevin's been busting his ass. Um, I tried to tune in the knees knives last. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, I, I'm about ready just to unsubscribe from over there. I just I, it clashes with my whole persona in terms of I don't know. Maybe it's my law enforcement background. Maybe it's, it's I don't know. You know, you can't like everybody in the world, right? I'll leave it at that. Sam, are you in here, buddy? Did I see you. In or somebody say hi to you. We got here. Everybody knows Gon's my official and one and only moderator, unless he's promoted some other folks, which he like. Yeah, and you know, I'm going to tell you too on a metal concept. The thing I do like about him, he isn't pretentious, but I that I can tell he does what he does. He doesn't do a lot of editing. He does it down and dirty quick, and he's after volume. I mean, you can tell that this is a job for him, period. My big curiosity, and I'll never see it in my lifetime, but these younger bucks that are out there and young ladies that are doing this uh, type of thing, what's the longevity of it? Maybe it's something that's going to be around forever. I mean, I don't know. Uh, there's got to be a saturation point. Because I started out watching Need, Metal Concept. You know, the bigger channels come up first when you do the search. So you start watching those guys. But I have digressed to, oh, I got something else I want to show you guys. Now, I have digressed to the point where um, that's not a priority for me, the bigger channel. I'd much rather watch a smaller channel and support them i watch jd and i watch uh some of the other some flaky ones out there too what's that little dude's name with the weird little goatee and javon is that his name javon something like that <laughs> he he's got the gifts of gab and i i turn on different stuff late at night damn the fiend damn near on every one of these freaking little uh podcasts that are that podcast. Uh, lives that are going on yeah that's him javon <laughs> i just 
I'm not sure what to make of him. He's something else. I'm not saying good, bad, or indifferent. I just don't know what to make of the guy. Hang on a second. Coming back, I'm heading y'all's way. Bear with an old man. I got a box here I wanted to show you guys. Uh, do this, this, Mike. I have a whole box here of Olight stuff. I bought a bunch of flashlights, and some of these are for my personal collection. The ones with the black dot are mine. Uh, at any rate, I stumbled on a channel last night. I was watching videos. I'm going to put this on the floor. And this guy was on there. And I forget what his thumbnail said, but it caused me to click it. And I think I'm subscribed to the guy. That's in my face. Sorry about that. I hope that wasn't overdriving you guys. Um. Yeah, those are part of the giveaways I'm going to start. If I get to a 1,000, guys, I'm planning on doing giveaways on a more regular basis. I've yet to do one. I'm waiting to get to a 1,000. If you guys get me to a 1,000, i got a bunch of stuff tucked away. But at any rate, he was talking about the biggest problem with collecting these little low lights and having them sit around is, and I never thought of this because I used to collect the little mag lights, and I'm going to get those out in the next show, hopefully, or two. I've been collecting those for years. The crap light at this point because of all the technology and the new light. But with that said, this guy, I need some smaller. Hang on, bear with me here. This ought to work perfect. He uh he brought up a good point. There's a battery in these, which we're thankful for the battery. And he likes to give these away as stocking stuffers and things like that. Let me put my face back on the screen. I'm being rude. Uh, killing myself here. Here we go. Is that better? At any rate, you know, you open this up and then you give away an open box. And I, I want to give credit where credit is due. I don't, I don't remember the gentleman's page. I'll look through my history and see if I can find it. But he had a great. He came in here with something other than what I've got here. This is a telephone. I didn't gonna work as good as I thought it would. He came in here somehow. How did he do that? I don't want to screw the knife up. Not that I, there's no way I can screw the knife up. I don't want to screw the package up. Well, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Of course, if I mess this one up, it won't matter. This feels like it's glued in. Oh, no, it's not. It's tight. What he did was he opened the bottom of this. And I thought to myself, I sat there, I lay there last night watching the big TV in the bedroom. And I thought to myself, well, that is clever as clever can be. He went in here and he took the battery out because the batteries would go south and corrode and he ain't wrong so it's not even a little thing to keep it from being active so he screwed it back on stuck it back in the case and put it all back inside and he went in the bottom yeah and then he put these two flips down. And I'm trying to figure out how I get this. Um, it, not wrong. it goes to two flips down, this down. Yeah, then these have got to go underneath. And I thought I shouldn't be using that knife for cutting the box. This is more of a delicate operation than I originally thought, but ill regardless. Let's 
All right, that's easy enough. So now you got the box that looks like you've never been into it. I sat there and was just like, damn, that's a good idea. I was, I was, I was loving it. Save the batteries, use them in your remotes or whatever. But I got a whole box of these things I'm going to do that to because there's no telling how long I'll have them. The ones that I'm collecting, I'll have for a while. I won't take out the box. Let's see. I've been ignoring you guys. Is Jesse in here? Jesse, good to see you back. Let's see. What's Jesse posted here? Jesse, what you got here? Let me go over here to the interweb. See what you posting. Uh, my chat is not caught up. Let me see here. Got a little bit of a lag over here. Let's see what you guys are bantering about over here. Jesse's page, seven videos, 62 subscribers. Well, let's do Jesse a solid. Move this. Add this. And hide this. Let's take a look at Mr. Jesse's stuff. Love the uh, the crow and the skull. Awesome, dude. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Looks like you got a few shorts going on here, buddy. You need to get to work if you want to build this up. What do you got in there? What is What are we looking at here? Uh, I don't know if the volume is working with you guys or not. Sounds like it is. It's a little jerky on my end. How's it for your end? That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Jesse. My internet's lagging a little bit, buddy. Everybody go look at Jesse's stuff. A lot of videos are the garden plot. Cool, man. No batteries stored in the devices and no knives stored in the leather folders. Oh, really? Todd, that's good to know. I would have left them in there and not even thought about that. Thanks for the uh, info, man. I didn't realize that. Beacon Food Forest. Cool, man. Leather will run a knife in a long-term store. Okay. You know, the guns are the same way. Although, um, my service weapons, I always took out. I did not leave them in the host. And I do have the Bad habit of leaving my carry stuff sitting around in the holster. And I know that I probably should. But sometimes I do and I admit it. I like sharing y'all stuff, man. I don't care, you know, if it's a big, little, or interesting channel. It doesn't matter. You know, it's stuff. It was a beautiful man. You ought to be very happy with that. Wheelchair accessible. Raised bed, and I got built. Super awesome, dude. Super awesome. Damn, let's see. I helped my uncle build a rose bed when he was lost his legs. Cool deal. I want to do a raised bed for my wife. She has some issues. We're getting old, man, and we both. She's had seven or eight back surgeries. I've got the Parkinson's, and I had hydronephrosis. You know, not and I I'm the luckiest man on the planet. Just understand that I'm not pretty great. And you guys don't sound like you are either. You're living life. I know that each one of y'all in here probably have a challenge. I know for a fact we all do because you spoke about it. And you know what? You're living your life. God dang it, live it. I mean, just live it. Do the best that you can. And if you're close to me. In any way, shape, or form, and you need help, you just call me. I'll do what I can. That's the way I, I got a little, I got young bucks out of the range that call me all the time, checking on me and want to make sure that I'm okay and that I get out of the range and they do anything for me. Um, see what you guys think of this. If this would be something that would be interesting for you guys. Um, now, bear in mind, I'll be 65 in May and I'm not promised tomorrow like a lot of y'all. But I'm having a major challenge getting to the range 
my car is loaded out and ready to go on a regular basis. But there's a few things that I'll have to pick up to. I'm working on some steel over here to do the video. I'm thinking about buying a Springer van or a Mercedes van or something like that. I can't do the work anymore myself. I could do it. I have the skill set to do it. I just can't do it. And I, I just got to make myself aware of that. Uh, draw it up, get it built out. So it has steps from the back that I can get into it. The front would have some area to sound, relax, get in air conditioning. The back end would be just where I keep my bench rest stuff, you know, my flags for shooting, my steel, all my stuff. I don't keep any pew pews in the vehicles at night. That's just stupid. They all come back into the safe. Um, if I lose something else like a rest, I lose a rest. If they want to steal a bag full of crap, you know, with sand in it, <laughs> steal it. They don't know what to do with it. None of the computers are in there and that kind of stuff. The air compressor, the high uh, powered air rifle come in with me. What do y'all think about a vehicle? Is that something you guys uh, would be interested in following? And I'm not saying I can make it happen. I'm I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm I'm going to be living on my Social Security in my retirement for too long. I'm still consulting right now, and they're paying me very well to do that. Um, but I know that's going to give up the ghost for long. I don't want to say exactly where I live, uh, Blade Walker, but I'm in North Florida. And when people refer to North Florida, they generally know where that's at. And I'll say it, I'm on the east side of the state. That narrows it down quite a bit. And where I live, the city's, let's just say it's the largest city in the state. <laughs> let's just leave it at that. I'd be pretty hard to find in this city. And then if you did, God help. And I'm not saying somebody can't get the upper hand on you. They can. Leave you me. I've known. I was on the streets long ago. Uh, thank you for your input. I Sure not. Okay, y'all are talking to each other. Not me, I didn't mind in the city. I was meaning to say Florida, obviously. And, I, you know, it's pretty obvious where I'm at. It's just it's a very large city. You don't know what county I'm in adjacent to it or anything else. Um, I am going to be getting my street address slash PO box set up. I'm keen to go by there and just do it. I haven't done it. Uh, my email is available out there for you guys. Uh, you can reach out to me. I, I'm just, I just feel blessed that you guys even take time out of your weekend to come see what I'm doing. And honestly, the the after stream is doing very well. Uh, it was a little off this week. It was averaging about 60 to 45 views after the fact. And I think they're separate than what people are actually watching. And I don't know that you guys watching count my videos hours watched. And if y'all hear me just burp down with me. <laughs> um, I'm just excited. So I'm grabbing a lot of air. Let's see. Gotcha. I didn't mean to be refined. Uh, Mr. Letterman. Let, let, let us like. Let's see. I keep my rifle pew pew in my car. And bug out bag. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't keep anything in the car in the way of pew pews. I'm going to get a hold of them. I'm trying to go backwards a little bit here and read. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be caught up. Is, uh, is um, streaming okay, guys? Is the picture okay and the audio okay? Because I do have, I'm running a lot of stuff here via the Wi Fi. And I put a special router out here just for that. I could go ahead and put this back on Cat 5. Not a big deal. It's just running the cord over here. But if it's running okay, just tell me that it is. Yes, uh, Sam, the newest. Oh, I meant to tell you guys about the one I got. But, Sam, to answer your question, this uh, beyond, and I failed it. Let me get the camera changed over. I'm forgetting to do that when I go to show you something, guys. Picture and picture. 
Kaiser. Yeah. I just got this one, buddy. It's a Kaiser. She was about a buck seventy-five. Something action is good, but my hands are real tired today. I haven't had time. Look at that nail. Um, it dropped like crazy. Watch this thing. I mean, it does a great job. Let's see here. Well, I almost cut my freaking hand off. But um, I like this a lot. But I, I meant to tell you guys about the purchase I made. I made it. I I mentioned it in my video when I made the video about the knife the other day. And I always take a picture of what I purchased. Let me see if I can bring it up on the web page. So you guys can see what I, I don't want to say it until I bring it up. I had people guess what it was and somebody asked me if it was an integro. Um, at any rate, let me see. Go to their store and add to stage. Some stage. You guys can kind of see what I'm looking at here now. I ordered this, and if I could find it. I don't remember which one I ordered. I ordered an expensive knife, guys. I'm gonna put myself in the poorhouse crap. And I can't even remember which one it was. That's not it. Which one was it? I didn't take enough of a picture of the screen to show which one it is. Gosh dog it. Well, Yeah, I'm not sure if I bought the Reich or I bought this one. I have this one right here. I love this one. Must be the Reich. Is that saying that correctly? I know, guys, I'm stupid. Bought a dang knife, and I don't remember which one I bought. I apologize. I'll have to look at my emails and see what I bought. Do you guys use email very much? Not emails. Of course you use email. Do you use eBay at all? What blade is the steel? Well, let me see here. Let me see. Damn, I can't see it well enough to tell you. Let me open it up. Was right there. You know what? I'm going to use my handy dandy phone. Now, when you get old, you use what technology you have available. I have a magnifying glass here, obviously. So, what steel do we have, folks? S35VN, sir. How about that? I can read it with that. Does that answer your question? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm losing track, guys. You guys are going quicker than I can keep up with here. And I've only got 11 of y'all in here, and I can't keep up. Can you even see a new right? Give it long. I haven't seen that one, Sam. Uh, what are you saying here, sir? Sometimes I feel like people don't care much for me. I know that a lot is. I wouldn't say that. Blade Walker, there's one thing about you that I've noticed. You're consistently in these different groups, different 
live streams and contribute to the community and communicate. I think that's the, you know, I have a bad habit. When I first started going to the live streams, guys, I, uh, I didn't communicate. I, I just watched. And I found myself to be a watcher. And now I'm interacting more than I've gotten to personally know you guys. I never really thought much about internet relationships and friendship. Even though being a ham radio operator, I communicate you know, with people all over the world and made relationships with a lot of people around the world. I'm finding this community to be very much like the ham radio community. And it's exciting to me to be part of it. But I think you're all right, man. Don't worry about it. Two comments. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, like right now, I feel like I don't. Where'd he go? Say anything. I don't understand what you mean by that, Blade Walker. Let's see. This communication community is awesome. Yes, it is. Blade Walker, we all think highly. Yeah, I agree with Sam. Uh, there's not a person in this chat right now, and I'll be honest with you guys. And let me raise the screen up here because I, I want to set some people straight with some of this. Um, I have yet to have a problem with a single soul in this community, period. Now, you moderators can tell me differently because obviously you're in the trenches every day and you're dealing with anybody that might be not quite so nice. But I just haven't seen it personally. Maybe you guys can comment on that. I think the community is awesome. Uh, critical on myself. We're all critical on ourselves. Every one of us. And I do finally get the knife to work right, right, right. I can't talk. Work correctly. I'm so happy. It took me forever to learn how to reverse flip a knife. And yes, I can do it easier with thumb studs. But I'm learning. None is going to be more critical of you than you. Sam, that's where they are putting over here. You're absolutely right. My wife and I were just discussing that earlier, that we have to help each other not be that person that still tries to do everything. I was putting salt in my water softener this morning, and I was procrastinating doing it because the bags are heavy as crap. But I was on the side yard cutting cardboard boxes up for recycle, which is this week, and I noticed that one of the bags had been done. And I thought to myself, well, she's a bag of that salt and that she has no business. And it's all I can do to look at my age and with my age. So I was very upset by it, although she claimed to drug it through the door and scooped it out where I pick it up and lift it in and cut the bag open and let all the salt. And I know you guys in here with handicaps deal with you got to deal with, like I said, uh, when I make my bug out, that I'm going to go bag or go home bag or whatever you want to call it. Um, most of the stuff that's going to be in there for me is what it takes me to survive for the day. Uh, I don't know, Jesse, I'm not sure exactly all your issues. It's none of my business, but I have to self cat and I do that on a regular basis. I mean, I can go to the restroom and I've got to have gloves, catheters, lube, all the stuff that goes along with that. I've got to be able to survive out there for a period of time. And if I don't have that stuff with me, I'm screwed. I mean, seriously. The only way around it, if I'm stuck, is to go to the hospital. So, just saying. We appreciate guns, you know, what you would be using Delta behind the scenes. Uh, it's jumping too fast. I'm glad to have 12 people in here. You guys think I'll ever get to 100 or 75 people? I sure the heck hope so. I'm really going to start working on 
dry pots set up and concentrate. Like I love to have it pan down right now in my knife box. I organized it all yesterday, nice and pretty. Thinking this is what I would do, and it, and get the wireless mic hooked up and be able to take you guys to the project, the garage itself, and have you guys take part in what I'm working on, whether that's rit dyeing some uh, scales, you know. Asking washing blades. I got all these projects and the materials and stuff I want to do it. And I want to, I'm thinking instead of doing videos for it, I'm going to do it during the live streams and let everybody see what I'm doing, participate, and then get a video out of that. Does that make sense? What are y'all thinking of that? And I still want to do the call in thing. Uh, let's see here. Blade Walker, you're the man, many of us here for you yes we are i agree with that uh progress ms wheelchair oh man jesse i'm sorry to hear that that's a rough one buddy that is a rough one. uh our prayers are with you man everybody actually you know i i really appreciate you guys stopping let's see todd what are you saying here all depends on the rules of the Plus four. I don't mind the swearing as long as it's not F you every other time. I got to watch myself because I'm a sailor. You know, I'm, like one. I'm not a sailor, but I swear a lot. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to Gons and Todd. If you want to be part of it, it's up to you and Gons. Uh, I'm going to stay out of it for the most part, unless some total a hole, but. Again, I have yet even had an instance of a problem. I mean, none. Absolutely none. Let's see, bro. Just keep doing your. Well, Gons, I appreciate it. And you know what? I really appreciate you guys. About every live stream, I'm, I'm trying to get to as many as I can. I see you guys talking me up. And that means so much to me. You just know. And I can't, I can't type for crap. The smart. So uh, I dictate a lot. So I have to go jump out to my program, dictate it, cut, paste, and put it back in. A little bit of a challenge for me. This is why the live stream is pretty good for me because I don't have to do all that. Communicate with you guys directly via my voice. You're all tired of hearing that at this point. But, um, you know, you work around your shortcomings. Uh Yes, he's enjoying his flowers. He's got a beautiful garden, absolutely gorgeous. I could imagine that he's just got butterflies like crazy. Uh, my wife has got a butterfly garden. She raises butterflies every year and releases them. We've got more in the neighborhood than we've ever had. I think that's a big part of her effort. That's her deal and her what she does. She loves doing. Um, you know, we all do what we can. Let's see, Dugan, what I am saying is you set the limit. I got you. I understand what you're saying, Todd. I think your guys' discretion is as good as mine or better. I mean, you guys, I see y'all's names everywhere. Um, you guys do a phenomenal job. And, you know, if, just people that are stupid. <laughs> just stupid people. <laughs> but, I mean, just pure ignorance of can't behave themselves. And you know what I mean by that. My standards are okay. No, I'm not a sailor. I swear to like one, Sam, and I, I don't want anybody to think that I've been in the service because I've never been in the service. I would love to have served. To be honest with you, I was in between the Vietnam War and uh, modern times. It was just after the draft was done away with, and I think everybody should have served. I think we should have kept the draft. Uh, I did do community work through being a police officer for a period of time. And uh, I was with the Red Cross for a long time with the ham radio. I went in for disaster relief. This was before cell phones or anything else. It would be an earthquake or something going on in the world, hurricanes, whatever. Then to be communicators. I, I know you guys know what Morse code is, but I don't know if you understand what it does. And what that does is a facilitate the world to talk to each other. And the way it was developed, an S is an S is an S in any language. 
So that's represented by three dots, three dashes, or dot, dash, dot, you know, or whatever the character is. I may not know what I've put on the piece of paper in terms of words, but I can find somebody that can speak that language and translate it. So the S would be transmitted to the world. Of course, SOS, you know what that means. That's, you know, worldwide is known for being in distress. Uh, you can talk as much as that's right. Oh, Sam, you're a sailor. Have you ever been, what ports have you been assigned to in the United States? We have, where I'm located, we have a nuclear sub base, aircraft carriers, and naval air station. So we, we have two nautical ports and a big plane, you know, I, the planes, you know, as the flight groups, as the ship back to the United States, for sure, or home, or whatever you call it, um, carrier group, you know, they're coming in when all the jets come off the plane and they come into the bay. And, you know, I, they go right up to my house. I just love it. I just love the United States. God bless America. God bless America. States, right, guys? Okay, I started. Well, and you guys that aren't in the United States, I don't want that the wrong way. I'm just saying we're very proud of our country, and it's what our country is to be proud of as well. Well, Gons, I you know I follow a lot of people in some different genres, and I'm going to tell you. I have heard more people say they buy an older iPhone or a smartphone and do 99% of what they do with these. As a matter of fact, all my shorts are shot with another iPhone, and most of my range will be shot with an iPhone as a secondary or third camera. So you really can't go wrong with those, and they're relatively inexpensive for the older one. Virginia, Florida, the Great Lakes, Illinois, many more, and a few overseas. Well, sir, you, your service for beginners, and the second thing is you must have been in a while. Did you retire, Navy? Let's see. You can't apologize for living in your country. That's right. Todd, you're right, because we in get to trying to keep up with everything here. And I'll try to remember to get the information on the knife I bought, guys. I don't know when it's going to be here or anything else. I'm bad about impulse buying. I'm trying not to buy any more guns. I picked up a SIG two, two millimeter a month or so ago. I haven't even had it in the range yet. I just got to quit spending money. Well, if you've been in Florida, I know what ports you've probably been to. There's not a lot. Uh, you got some in the Panhandle. You know, there's several here in North Florida. If you don't mind saying, can you say how many years you were in, sir? Let's see, Todd. Let's see. Todd, you're right. Because when I got to the transplant clinic, everyone there knows exactly what I'm saying. And it makes it easy. You're right. Challenge, buddy. It's a challenge. Six years, sir. Well, we appreciate your service for sure. Blade Walker, be blessed with every day. You know, that's the way I look at it. My wife and I were talking a little bit earlier. My dad is still living in heaven. We just got him out of the hospital again today. And he's gotten to the point that he's afraid to take his clothes off at night and get into either his PJ or his undies or whatever in the hell he wears to bed. And I think he's afraid he's going to die at night and he wants to be dressed, so he won't get undressed. <laughs> okay, valid point. Well taken. Oh, another thing is, once I get to the um, thousand, I think I can allow people to 
join or do whatever it is they want. I'm not looking for money, guys. I don't know what the cheapest thing as I can do for the levels, for the members, whatever that's called, and you have to fool me on that. My goal is to be to um, do more for the community because I, I, I'm fortunate. And how can I put this without – I don't even know how to put it into words. I need to I need to figure out how to make the little logo thing and then do some stuff and, and all that. Um, I think I am definitely going to change my name of the channel to what Tom's came up with. I just need to get that going. Just got a credit card, so I'll be broke. <laughs> yeah. Well. I understand, sir. I understand. I've worked hard all my life, and I'm going to, you know, as time gets shorter and shorter and shorter, the more I'm going to quit worrying about being on a budget. I'm going to be honest with you. My kids and grandkids, they don't get it. They don't know how to work hard. Well, my son does. My son kicks ass and takes names. My daughter's trying her best. Grandkids today are the children today. Um, I'm just shaking my head. I got nothing. Dollar ninety nine and up, I believe. Yeah, I agree with you, Todd. But I'm thinking about just making it one tier. I'm not going to do the tier thing. I'm just going to say, hey, you guys want to help me out a tiny bit at the one ninety nine? I'm going to put it right back into giveaways giving back to the community and the people that watch me. And support me. I'm not interested in making a dime off of this. Although I will say I've been now, I want to say by three companies, which surprises the heck out of me for affiliate links and so forth. And I've just haven't sat down to do all the paperwork that's involved in that. I don't know what exactly is all involved, but I know there's a few who, jump through and I'm going to work on that. Betty, I didn't realize you were disabled as well. I think we have a lot of disabled folks in here, including myself, although I don't consider myself disabled, to be honest with you. But I am. I mean, there's things I can't do, and it sucks. But, you know, you, I was watching a young lady on TikTok, and yeah, I watch damn TikToks. I'm addicted. Uh, she's probably 20, mid 20s, let's say. Car accident, paralyzed pretty much from down, and uh, best attitude on the planet I've ever seen. She got young kids, her husband left her after it happened. Then there's this other young girl that I follow that uh, paralyzed from the neck down, anything basically. Maneuver her wheelchair and so forth. God love her. I think she's been in that since 2014, she said. So she's not a teenager anymore. It happened when she was. A I, I don't know what to say about all that, except for, you know, I just don't even know what to say. So let's see here. Get affiliates. Get affiliates, maybe the us all get them and start sending knives. Yeah, I mean, I have yet to get anything for free out of this YouTube gig. Uh, and again, that's not my motivation. You entertain, basically, and pass on things I do know. I know a lot of I wish, and you guys tell me if I'm just, smoking crack here, but I think if I'm not wrong, I can set up a table with a camera on it, pictures of, or have it facing toward PPUs, not touching them, bring my footage in from the range or whatever for my review, and I can do all that via the live, and I think that would be interesting to combine that with what's going on, because, you know, would you say the name Don's again? Adventures with Dugan. Is that if I got that right? I need to write that down to make sure I don't screw that up. I swear, I think I'm going to change that. Let me see. I 
I think that's what we're going to do. Change the channel name. Yes, yeah, since... Oh, Betty, well, I'm sorry. You want to share, this would be a good place to do it if you want to. I'm glad to hear your story. God bless you. Adventures with Dugan. That's what, yeah, I wrote that down. Um, well, we, I mean, I, I was helping. I gave a person that I'd seen in the neighborhood grocery store in front of it on for a year or more and pretty down on his look. I mean, you know, we got people here that can't handle and live in nice places. I mean, let's face it, cameras everywhere. This gentleman, you know, down and out. And I make a point to slip him money here and there, but I slipped him a 20 the other day and he shook my hand and was like, you know, I can afford to go home now and not sit here all day and beg for money. I can actually go eat. And I don't know what his living conditions are. Or anything else. I mean, for all I know, he went behind the store and lives in the woods. We have a lot of that. I wish it was more equal for everybody. I wish it really was. See, Johnny, I have probably six or seven knives worth talking about. They're all worth talking about, Sam. I had a lot more a few years ago. Lost. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear about that. Water flood surges are bad business, buddy. What Dugan does. That's a good one too, Jesse. You guys are making this hard. Although that's sort of, sort of like KC's uh second channel, I think. Stuff KC does, I think he calls it, or something like that. Uh, I think the only way channels can have people on them is the mine without me. Yeah, I, I've given up the thought that I'll ever be monetized. Not going to happen on this channel. So I'm not even worried about that. That's that's the least of my worries, getting monetized. My motivation is not to make money on this channel. It's to have fun. Something that maybe my grandkids and great great grandkids might watch. My younger grandkids, I know, do watch. Um, I don't think any of them watch the live stream. I've yet to see any of them in here. I on them for not watching. <laughs> Let's see. What's Betty saying? Hurt my back and had to have several surgeries. I was in my 20s when it happened. Yep. My wife says seven back surgeries. If you get older, if you take a pill again, a fixer and throat. So. Uh, she was a nurse her whole career, and she originally hurt her, in her back giving CPR to a person on a gurney as they were moving them from, I guess, the ambulance in or something. Anyway, somehow she fell off. I don't know the whole story, but uh, not good. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. Yeah, it runs like creating a channel. I got to thinking what I am doing that he did. Blade Walker, you should, man. I mean, I've got a. I I started a podcast on the uh, Parkinson. And I had had one on the pew pews. They just never got the traction. So he did it through Buzzstream to broadcast it to all the regular viewing places or hearing places. I uh, gave up a subscription yesterday and brought it down, getting no traction whatsoever. So I'm going to. Keep my other channel with Parkinson's on YouTube and just do videos once a month on it. It's a very small community. I think they said there's about, and they say small, 7 million people a year diagnosed with Parkinson's world. So I guess that is a small number. Um, the problem with Parkinson's is it's usually not recognized until the person is on. It's later in life. There's what they call young onset of the disease, and I'm in that category somehow, and I don't know how because I'm 65. Uh, let's see. It will all fall and start having more soon, I am sure, Blade. Where'd you go, Blade Walker? Yeah. Well, Gons, I agree with you. I mean, guys, 
This is this live streaming is tough. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I can tell you that. I sat here many a day without a soul to talk to, and I perverse, you know, persevered, not perverse, uh, persevered and kept it to a half hour, and then you guys started showing up, and changed my whole outlook. I mean, immensely. Oh, he has the Parkinson. Well, well, like I said, a lot of people have it, and there's conditions people don't understand that I can't even. I'm not even going to go into. Oh, guys, I have to to pick up why. All right, man. Well, Todd, you're a good man. I appreciate you being in here. I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. I've had a I've had a rough day, guys. I'll be honest with you. It was a struggle to get in here today. I laid down and took a nap. I'm not prepared as I am again saying I apologize. Uh, I'm going to let the game change. I'm going to try to spend my week preparing this week more so. I think you guys like to draw the, the garage thing and doing different things. I'm ordering a longer cable for that camera and I will get the wireless to experimenting with that so you guys can hear me. And let's start doing some stuff. Whatever you want me to do, I got. I can show y'all how ammo's reloaded. I can, you know, short of showing you the few things and hold them, I think I can film them. I think that's okay. We can always try, and if I get cut off, I get cut off. But I'm pretty sure I can have them out. But uh, there's there's so many nice things we can do. I've got so many nice projects that I want to do, and I'd like to have you guys part of that. It'd be awesome. Hey, Walker, you're single. You're a lucky man. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Uh, honestly. Oh, yeah. Well, Blake Walker, we're here for you, buddy. And, then, you know, you shit in the bed a little earlier about yourself. Just don't do that, man. You're here. I'm out. I mean, come on, dude. At least you're not just living in a box. You're out here trying to be part of a community and whatever limitations you have, you have, and that's the way it works. I'm not making light of it. It's just a fact. We're all in that boat to some degree or the other. And don't get me wrong. There are the haves. There's plenty of the haves out there. And I don't want you all to think for a minute I'm a half. I'm getting my ass off of what I got. And at this age, I wanted to enjoy what I've got, and that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to share the things that you know, I have here you got, you know, we can start doing giveaways. I'm excited as proud to do that, but I got to get past that thousand in order to do it in a fair way because I want to do like G Ball's doing. Think about this. There's not a lot of you guys here. I don't know how many of you guys want to kick in that buck 99 or whatever it is I can make it. I'm only going to make one tier. I'm not going to do all these tiers. If you're in the bottom tier, you get privy to everything. Because I'm not. I'm not interested in you guys spending a bunch of money coming my direction. I think of it as a raffle. And I'm just going to have raffles, and I'm going to do it mainly for members. Because you know what? If I'm being supported by people who come on here, I'm going to support back in a big way. Well, Blade Walker, I hope to see you every time I come in here. I don't see your smiling face, but you know what, buddy? Take that little logo there that's got to be and put your smiling face there. I'd be more than glad you're sitting there every time I come online and I sit there. I really appreciate you more than you know. And everybody else for that matter. Gons is the man. Gons got the wrench. <laughs> no, I appreciate you doing it, man. I appreciate you raising your hand and doing it. It really means a lot to me. Guys, what else do we got to say? Betty, Blade Walker, Todd. I don't want to miss anybody. Sam. Let's see who else has been here. I want to see if I can't get everybody, even though they're gone. I know I said Betty. Uh, Sam. Jesse. I'm scrolling up to see all the people that may have come and gone. Uh, there's too many that keeps jumping on me. Anyway, I appreciate you guys, and I hope you know that. And I think uh, tomorrow at uh, Kevin's live stream, I'm going to go random.
Not that you would. I'd probably not get anybody. We're down to eight. I'm losing you guys. Again, the regulars, appreciate it. Keep your head up, Blade. All the rest of you do the same. Again, I can't say it again. What Dugan thinks, visions with Dugan, maybe the next one, or things Dugan does, we'll think of something this week. I don't think I'll change it this week. Get back and have a a uh, discussion next week about it. See what you guys think. See you in the other lives. Appreciate everybody coming. Later. <laughs>